to horizontal, natural, I guess? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, if you can make some borders, that would be neato. Where, where am I? Alright, so that's me. But I don't have a name yet, so what do you want me to name myself? And if you say Flonkerisk, I'm gonna just punch you, because I'm probably just gonna name myself Creeper. I can't! Drift, drifting off! Yeah, I know, it's a... It's I know, it's so blocky and I, I love it. <laughs> There's you! He just doesn't think he works on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, you know, I have to... Yeah, you do. I, re I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. Okay, yeah, there is a, s oh, there's there's a slight delay. I can probably fix that by just closing the window for Discord. That's probably fixing it. Just fix it. Yeah. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> Clicking off the game destroys the emulator. Does it have to deal? I have to steal. I have to steal my courage today. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's basically making it's yeah. making your courage as strong as steel. That's it's dumb. I get it. It's stupid. I'm going to be brave. Yeah, because I, I, one thing I found out about this game. Okay. One of, this game is one of the reasons I'm so weird with my writing. It's because everything about the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series is like extremely verbose for no reason. <laughs> I, I, I can always get down with them. Uh, I don't want to reveal who this character is, but do you want to do a, a voice, or do you want me to do the voice? You, you can do the voice. Pokemon I'll just do the Pokemon Addicted! Never mind. Never mind, I'm doing the All voice. Right. For now. I'll say, like, <laughs> Pokemon Detected! Pokemon Detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Mudkips! The footprint is Mudkips! This is gonna be a great fucking day. So, just so you know, it's been 20 minutes of recording already. I'm probably gonna keep you here for yeah, a while. I can imagine that. I'm so sorry. To that was too shocking. I wasn't prepared for whatever that was. So I, I said that out loud for some reason. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. I'm also a fun kid for some reason. Why, why can't I talk? This is exactly why I wanted you to do this. Alright, so let me give you the lay down of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. There's a spin off where y okay. this, the, the, the whole paces of the story is about to show up out of nowhere, so you'll get it in a second. But it's based in a world where Pokemon can talk, it's completely different from the actual normal world. Uh, so it's, so it's not like oh shit, I didn't, say, uh, I didn't say Coughing's line. Uh. <laughs> You bet I did, coughing. Okay, I'm gonna do an old man voice for coughing. That little wimp was, uh, was pacing around. Had something good, right? Some fucking swag, as those kids call it these days. Well, that wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? That we do. Stick, rehire me. <laughs> oh. Quality. Yeah. I mean, we're playing in an emulator that runs at 39 frames per second. Uh, what is good? It's grainy. <laughs> Come out of those sundown bubbles. <laughs> What's happening here? What's, what's this game? You'll see in a minute. All those bubbles. Captain says, I can't talk. This is not a talk. Drink a Gatorade. Captain says, I'm raised off the waves. I'll figure it out eventually. I'll remember the English language. <laughs> I would be annoyed by those fucking bubbles. I'd be like, get out of my line of sight. They, like, why are these things shining in my eyes? Get them away from my eyes? My eyes are, yeah, my I'm eyes are the only beautiful thing. You have to admit, though, I honestly think Mudkip is the perfect Pokemon for you, because Mud and Stick. Yeah, no, that makes sense. He looks depressed. He looks easy. <laughs> this is where I always come when I'm feeling tired from myself. <laughs> 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 You're, okay, according to this game so 
Alvar, you are too cowardice to join a, uh, to join a guild, and you have, the only thing that makes you happy is bubbles and a rock. Hey, I'll give you that. Right, I'll give you that. That's what I'll give Hey. What was that? What was that over there? Thing about this. Someone has collapsed on the sand. Oh my god, I just discovered a body. A body has been discovered! <laughs> it's a dead Pikachu. Finally, some good eating! What happened? I need some yellow in my spleen. <laughs> hey, you. Are you okay? Please say no. Ellipses. Ugh. Uh, oh, that's, well, that's not a yes. Oh, by the way, everything is in parentheses for my character, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because you're just saying Pika, and everyone else can vote. <laughs> that would be terrifying! terrifying. <laughs> you say you're a human? Yeah, that's a weird thing. That's a lie? Because you're obviously not a human, you're standing right in front of me, you look like a totally normal Pikachu to me. I didn't, I didn't mean for Green to be in the word Pikachu, I don't know what came over me. It's true! Holy shit! I've turned into a Pikachu! This is like, the best and worst day ever. I got knocked out, which was a total cool thing, but now I'm stuck like this? This fucking sucks? <laughs> I- Well, can you like turn back over to me now? Uh... But how, how did this happen? I, I don't remember anything. He's an AI. He learns as you play. What's your name? Alright. My name? <laughs> That's right, my name is... Uh, I'm thinking either Creeper or Anthony. Also, I loved how in the stream, you, you, said, you shot in a box and then said, Oh, I thought Anthony was gonna be in that box. And that's the only time I've heard you use my name outside of, like, Creeper. Oh, Creeper's your name. That, uh, raises suspicions. It's not my real name. Uh, Says the mudkip named Stick. Yeah, fair enough. It makes more sense. Well, yours does, but I'm, in, in context, a human. And even then, I'm going by an alias. Oh, look, you don't seem to be bad. Pokemon, yeah, because I'm not one. Idiot. Exactly. So I don't really know what my motivation was saying, and I'm sorry I doubted you, but you're also literally a creeper, so get out of my area. More and more I am a creeper. Minecraft's creeper. Grim Reaper. Oh, stop talking. <laughs> stop <laughs> stop <laughs> breathing. Stop saying <laughs> it. Many Pokemon I think they're all really attractive to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see why, dude, yeah. Well, yeah, it might get, you know, we've got strong legs. Ow. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Everyone's trying to, you know, get a slice. And I don't much appreciate it. Well, I do beg your pardon. Oh, God, you sound like my grandpa. <laughs> hey, you do that? <laughs> I got pennies on my cheeks and I can Can't you figure it out? And we wanted to mess with you. Can't make, uh, can't face up to us, can you? Could you? You mean you guys are just being asked for the sake of being asked? Yes. What's your plan? Oh, stick. I know this might be spoilers, but oh no, wait. You haven't played a Pokemon game, so you won't get it. Okay, never mind. Fair All right. What? You, if you make AdLib, you don't have to read the real line if you don't want to. That's yours, isn't it? What if I give? What voice have I given Zubat? Like some sort of sexy voice? Yeah, you give him, like, this really, like, seductive, like, British villain guy. Oh, wow. No, that's... Yeah! <laughs> Rish. I forgot what I was talking about. Rish. It kind of does. Sorry, kiddo, we'll take that. It sounds like Metaton. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, that is my rock. I'm very attached to this rock, so can you not, please? <laughs> Not gonna make a move to get that back? Uh, what's the matter, kiddo? Too scared? I've got uh, an electric rat <laughs> standing like right behind me, so you probably don't want to mess with me. Oh, you I know? thought you were talking.
talking about real life. <laughs> I just. Uh, uh, I, just uh, I didn't expect that you'd be what? such a big coward. I can't imagine what you picked up in your head I just imagine you turning around and the, pa the parasite wearing Pikachu like, ears. <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. Sure. I am actually surrounded by Pikachu plushies right now, though. That's weird, but I have okay. too many weird Pikachu plushies. So you have a lot of crap. Yes, I have a lot of them. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm seeing around, chicken. You literally, you're the one with wings, dude. Touche. Oh. No! Oh, no, that's not right. No! Oh! No, hold on. No! Oh! There we go. There we go. So, uh, what, what should I do about that? To me, it's like the last thing I've ever really, really cared about. So, if I lose I'm gonna that, go into a full on depression. Yeah, I don't really have much left. <laughs> I guess there's no time to waste. I'm also not doing anything else today, so let's go get back. <laughs> hey, uh, if you could help me out, I know you have like bigger, more existential things. So in right the now, original but... game, I think there's only yes and no. I've never seen this option. You can't. Have time to waste. Come on, stop asking. But you can't questions. just. That's. Oh wait, I think. That gets my rock. I think it's just. If that disappeared, I die. So please. But I have no memory. I don't care. <laughs> so let's let's go. What's the whole? You don't even remember like what you have to lose. So let's just go. It doesn't matter if you have no memory. Just tell me, tell me. I'm sure I was a human. Oh my God. You were like making this impossible. Don't think about yourself. Even ghosts are the ones who forgot that matter because you'd be dead. You can still help. Come on. Got it. Sure. Why not? Really? After all that <laughs> pushing, you That is so passive. That's, really? That sounds like something. That sounds like something. I don't, don't know. I can't remember exactly which characters you, you're, would, you would do that in your show right now. I'm not sure if it's Marty. Maybe maybe uh, Cameron. Or Cameron's Cameron, kind of Yeah. Cameron, Cameron would totally do that. Uh, Horatio, put some context on the screen. It's just, they just say blue <laughs> and they don't have a yeah, there. do that, do that, Horatio. Thank you. Let's go. Let's get in here quick. Oh my God, it's been forty minutes already, and we just started the game. I'm sorry for doing this to you, mate. Oh my God, what just happened to that audio? How bad does this sound to you, Stick? Is this is this manageable? It sounds like a bit of a, like, you know, I, just, I have a turn. Down? Here, yeah, down. I'm actually going to go into the audio editing for this game and make them really slow, too. Alright, it's time to shoot lightning out of my ass. Let's go. Oh, you can do that, too? Oh, I forgot you had the, the, the laser app. Horatio, put some context on the. Oh, no, I'm not gonna put any context on the screen for that. No, 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 there's no context for such an amazing creation. So, fun fact about this game that I don't like. Okay, so I my favorite Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game is the one that came before this, called Blue Rescue Team. It's kind of the first one ever. Uh, this is my. I haven't actually played Sky, but this one is my second favorite. And I like it a little less because for some stupid, for my, in my opinion, um, I never change the character AI, which is something you can do. And the default AI in this compared to Blue Rescue Team is just idiot. They're idiots. They kill themselves. They die every single time. So I guess it's more accurate to you than you'd think, but it like but it's did. like it's annoying to deal with sometimes, especially in escort missions. Also, for the sake of I mean, you seen you play? for the sake of things, I'm turning the speed to fast, and I'm switching the top screen to team stats. That actually made the game run like five times faster. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need a lot of those. So should we just clear this first dungeon and then call it a day? 
Pittsburgh. And when's a when's a good time for you? If you're free tomorrow, we could try this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow looks like. It looks like a Sunday. It does look like a Sunday. All right. Yeah. If you get any information on it, we can like we could do it any time. If you're like free, except for like at midnight, because I do have some stuff starting on Monday. Is everything still running all right? All right, I have a story. I want to tell you a few few stories for work to keep the commentary uh, interesting. I'm gonna tell you these the story of. Let's see which one. I guess I could tell you the story of the car lady. And how's that sound, car lady? All right, let's go with it. Holy shit! So. I work at retail, and sometimes because of this coronavirus, demonetized. Uh, because of the coronavirus, I have to do carryouts for people. And so there was this lady with a cart. She needed me to do a carryout for her, and she had all of this stuff. I'm talking tons of stuff. And now where I work, we're not allowed to accept tips at all. Um, and this lady knows that. So when I'm at her car, and she's uh, are you able to still hear me, by the way, or are you just like listening? All right, so we're at her car, we're at her car, and then, like, um, she, I'm, I'm at her door, I'm, like, helping her get her stuff. Hold on. Oh, I don't have inventory at the moment, I forgot. Sleep seed or blast seed, we don't need either of them. So we're there, and we're, like, I'm helping her put all her stuff in her car, and she's like, thank you very much, and, oh, hey, what's what's at, what's this at my door? And I'm like, I'm sorry, ma'am, what are you talking about? She's like, here, she's, can you take a look at this? Uh, I've been trying to figure out what it is. And, like, during this, she's, like, trying to slip a twenty dollar like a five dollar bill in my hand she's like so discreet about it. she's like so, don't tell anybody i gave you this you is like she's trying to justify why she's trying to give me a tip and i'm like i'm just standing there like yeah i could not accept this and she's like no no and she like she before i can hand it back to her she like gets in her car and just books it i'm like standing there with five dollars like well great what am i gonna do with this so I have to walk back inside. I have to walk all the way to my manager's, uh, like, room. I'm like, this lady just drove off and tried to throw $5 at me, so I guess I have to donate this. And they're just staring at me like, why do people keep trying to donate to you? Because it's just something that happens to me sometimes. There is this other old lady, like, all of the old ladies sympathize with me. Like, do I really look that terrible? The one, like, few people gave me Doritos because I'm skinny. Another person gave me, like, $20. Another person gave me five. I can't accept any of this. Someone tried to give me a whole soda. I haven't been able to shave in a while. And my job is retail at 12 to 9. No, not 1 to 9 and 12 to 8 on occasions. And I also tend to wake up really early. Also, you leveled up. Not that it matters. But yeah, this lady just went in and then she left. I guess that story wasn't funny enough to, for you, so I'll tell you about the time where I bagged a tomato and cucumber together and thought it was VeggieTales and started laughing to myself about how I saw VeggieTales in Walmart. I li that was that was literally the joke. I I was I was just standing there and then this lady bought a tomato and she bought a cucumber and I was like, hey, that reminds me of VeggieTales, and I just started laughing like internally for no reason. It was terrifying. I just, no, I didn't explain. I didn't explain to them. They just like gave me a weird look, and I just finished bagging up the tomato, and I couldn't stop laughing about it for the whole day. I got home, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Veggie Tales. <laughs> it really doesn't. Like, stick. You could just say any random word. I mean, it doesn't take much to make you laugh. I could. I could either do two things. I could. Go, I could no! Or I could. I can go on an incessant rambling about why I hate AT and T or. Breadsticks. That's a no, uh, uh, well, actually, yeah, no, there are a lot of things that can make you laugh, but you're you're harder than me, that's for sure. I, you know, I, I laugh when I'm enjoying myself. Are you enjoying yourself? No. Ow. <laughs> My feelings. Ah. Ah, uh, nah, don't worry about it. You can't you can't deny that you're enjoying this stupid game and Horatio jokes. Oh, I have a line, actually. Yeah. Uh, Burger. Hell, well, if it isn't those stupid... If it, 
ain't those stupid kiddos that were on my lawn earlier. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. That shouldn't have hurt you. <laughs> but look at the face, it's just like... <laughs> huh. Horatio, zoom in on the, <laughs> zoom in on the face, give me. Exactly. I've so never seen Mudkip's mud faces, yeah. That rock, it, it embodied my pure essence, I married the damn thing! <laughs> yeah, let's just skip that line. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say! We ought to try selling it, who knows? Maybe we'll get a good price. I kinda sound like Bluto from. Is that his name? <laughs> Blute? No, I'm thinking of Brutus. Who's. Who's the idiot from Disney that. talks weird? Goofy. No, not Goofy, the other one, the villain, the nemesis. Uh, uh, Pete? Yeah, Pete! Why did I think his name was Bluto? Well, he, he's got that sort of. Composure, yeah. I guess. Whoa. Is it because he's fat? No, no, it's not because coughing's fat, it's because he's gassy. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Stick, your stream was inspiring. Genuinely inspiring. <laughs> Why? What? What? Because I could just make a whole 40 minute video of you just rambling on and on about incessant things and getting Jeff confused with another guy. Be ready. All the more reason not to give it back! Ouch. Say what? What? <laughs> damn it. Now we have to fight them. Oh, god. I mean, these guys. Don't worry, it's like. So super right easy. They're just like. All you have to do is hold Y, <laughs> point this direction, go that way. And then literally look at Zubat because he has a weakness to electric types, and you have no idea what type matchups are. No. He's dead already. Boom! I win. We just murdered that. Yeah, man. and then I just zap this guy, and we we win. We're done. You took a rock from me. Now we're gonna die by electrocution. Yeah, we're done. We're literally done. Booyah! I win. <laughs> that was so easy. Oh, 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 you dare knock down the elderly? Ugh. Ugh. Wait, we, just Ugh. we got roughed up. When God, when God, I love you, saw. Blessed, it's how we get wiped out by wimps like them. I, well, I am quite fragile now that I think about it. Whoa. Don't think you're so awesome, though. Your victory was a fluke. I have way more experience than you, even though I haven't evolved yet. Yeah, you just remember that. When we get all the other characters, you're gonna do a few more voices. That's gonna be great. I'm curious if you want I want Mitchell to be the... Oh, I think I want him to be the leader of the villain group. Of the, of the, like, the, the knockoff villain group that tries to be spooky but isn't. Yeah. I'm debating on whether or not I want the final boss to be voiced by Parasite or not. <laughs> that would be great. I don't... Wait, wait, oh, it's Brock! <laughs> <laughs> I actually did manage to get that. Uh, who, who, I'm like, the one who literally electrocuted right. two guys to death, and you just, what, what, what? Yeah, but, like, I got you here, so. uh, Fair enough. You yeah. It's only because you agreed to help me for the white. Is he crying? Yes. That's weird. That's that. His tears are bigger than his eyes. Yes. Thanks, Creeper. Never thought I'd have to say that. Yeah. We've always gone with thanks, Jax. <laughs> That's the wrong I don't thanks, think Jax. it is. Ellipses. I only helped because I happened to be there, and I wasn't. I, like, it took you like 15 minutes to recruit me. Was that like the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be. Hey, you know, it's it. nice to be a pre. Actually, I think this is inside my head. I don't care. <laughs> what the is it's not. It's nice to be appreciated. I'm like yelling this at the top of the lungs, and everybody just take. Every, everyone ignores it. They just ignore it. Here's 
uh, here's what they stole. You can't have it. Don't touch it. Just look at it. This is a relic fragment. I thought you were going to say rock. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a fancy way of saying yeah. it. Yeah. Well, at least that's what I said. Yeah, no, okay, I wasn't wrong. That's why I started calling it because rock got boring. But this, uh, this, this rock. This my wife. It's my precious treasure. Mostly because it's my only friend. I've always like legends and lore and that, you know, I like to read. Total Gravity I Falls did. fan. I'm, I'm a total faller right there. <laughs> you know, when I, when I hear tales from the past, it's all cool and stuff, you know, it's like neat. If you feel the same way, yeah, you do. You don't even answer that. Huh? Yeah, no, you don't. Hidden shows full of treasure and strange relics, you know. But what works? Uncharted territory is veiled in darkness. Now imagine saying this. Oh, my. Imagine saying this to James. <laughs> I don't. That's what I'm doing now. Oh God, the frame rate just quadrupled, dropped. What the hell? Yep. Can't worry about that now, there are new lands waiting to be discovered. That place must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure. No, I say that because I'm unhappy. Man, unhappy. this version of Stick just wants green in a spleen. Look, I mean, I can buy happiness. If history, too, you know, you be able to make a story discovery, but most of them Buy happens. history. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always dream of, you know. I don't have a lot of dreams, but, but when I do, on their occasions, it's usually about that, so it's pretty exciting. So one day, I have to come across a rock. I don't know that it looks like a rock. I'll take a closer look. You'll find that it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. That inscription forms a strange little pattern, doesn't it? It's true. Uh, there is a strange inscription. I've never seen yeah, a pattern like a this. I mean, I have amnesia. I've never really seen anything. What is this stuff I'm stepping on right now? What is that thing I came out of? Wh who? What? Yes, that's how amnesia works. What is this world? Where am I? I've never... It's... It just erases your memories, right? Amnesia, you forget who you are. Wouldn't it also mean you forget a few more things than just who you are? Well, no, just, you just, like, just look at how amnesia works. I'm not here to Okay, fine. It. There must be some significance to this pattern. This rock. The key to legendary places. There is where precious treasure lies. Where's she to rock? So I'm going to tell the truth. Most of it lies. And so, you know, that's the vibe I get from it. Yeah, that's how I got this rock, by the way. I vibe checked the wall and the rock came out of it. <laughs> I'll just do a routine vibe check on the environment. <laughs> and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna choke on my own spit. No, please do. This is why I was just kidding. No. <laughs> this, that's why I want to join an exploration team. I want to solve the mystery of my rock. You're just gonna call it the rock. That's gonna be the t that's gonna be the title of the video. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon with Stick Episode One: The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Spoiler: I tried to join it, yeah, but you know, they got bored of me, so they kicked me out. What about you? What you what you I am going to go into the ocean and then try and see if I can dive for my memories. I see. Yeah, well, that will probably kill you. But yeah, it me. You lost your memory. And yes, I'm not transforming into a Pokemon. We can, we can focus on that now. Because problems are over. Yeah. So let's, let's talk yeah, about Yeah, that is... I a, you are a selfish... A you are a selfish man. man. Oh, yeah. Do you have anywhere to, to go and stay after this? The ocean is gonna... I'm gonna make <laughs> ellipses. Just ellipses. I could try and make the ocean my home. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna ask if wow, Jesus, this dude put you on the farm and next exploration team with me. Dude, this dude has got no memory. You're just taking advantage of this poor Pikachu. I mean, you've only been asking questions to serve you. You're just like, hey, can I be serious about this? Yeah, okay, okay. You're gonna do 
All right, stick. Because my personal insecurities stick. are by far beyond your amnesia problem. Stick. This is a, this is a bad no. This is a bad character. Stick. I understand that you. This is this is the start of the game. So of course he's a bad character. He develops and he gets better. This, this is a moral gray. Plus we. You can't be plus we named him after you. I, this may be my second favorite, but I still love the story in this game. <laughs> Especially since the characters actually grow and develop with you. It's not just some, like, give situation where you there's a character, and it develops, and that's it, and it's done. It's boring. There's a give and take. You, you develop the character, and the character develops you. Except it's bad, because you lose that development after you stop playing and you become the narcissistic bastard that you always were, and you go back into your basement, you record another game, you play another one, you get all of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games until you feel satisfied with yourself, and you now have the inability to not cry after watching the ending of Blue Rescue Team on 50 minutes straight on a pure loop because you've ruined your life, and this video is an hour long. <laughs> all right. I I've lost my mind, Stick. This is my favorite game series. Literally, you in the game, yeah, your mind, most of it's like gone. Yeah, I, I, I took it out of the game and put it in my head, and there I am. I'm back. There we go. Please. Whoa, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I have mad bars. That's, that's what's true. An exploration team is... I don't know what that is. What should I do? Should I recruit this? Should I join this Pokemon who recruited me out of the blue? Form a team. Say no. Are you? Huh? I, that's a new line for me. This guy has new lines. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm what do you mean? What do you mean? Are you? You're trying to talk me into it. Well, yeah, that's, I thought that was pretty clear. Am I doing a good job? Oh, you're gonna do that. But, well, I'm a complete coward. That's what I'm reckoning you put that on the wiki. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, yes. You know, I thought I could depend on We met like an hour ago! Look. Shut up, okay. During that fight with the coughing earlier. You didn't do anything! Look, just let me talk. Have you there? I felt really great. Now, I know that I, like, I made you do all the work, however, I felt secure, so I think I can do anything as long as you are doing it for me. Fair enough, I'll become your crutch. Alright, all right, so come on. I, I will beg. I don't want him, but I will. Are you? For my exploration team, right, you need, but mostly you. For, let's form you a team. team. It's true, I haven't, I... If you would not with no, would you just leave? No, it would constantly repeat over and over again. So it gives you the illusion of choice, that's not right. Yeah, but, like, this one gives you more illusion of choice. And I've heard that people say that Sky is a definitive version, but I personally like Time and Darkness better. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Stick for now! Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I'm... I am by hanging out with this Pokemon right here. This blue, mean, evil. Okay, that's settled. Yes. Okay. Stick, I hope you'll find that I'm actually kind of getting emotional over this scene, even though you're totally fucking ruining it. <laughs> you don't want an exploration team with. That just goes to show how much I fucking love this game. Even though I've never played... Despite my best even though I've... Still enjoy it. Well, Stick, we made it. Despite your shitty opinion. <laughs> I'm an exploration team. <laughs> oh! We are going to be a great combination. No, no doubt. I never sent you. I never sent me to In reality, I think, I think we're a good combination, Stick. You and me. We're a great team. Not, not well. Okay, well you saw through that part, but you're not gonna. <laughs> uh, I did. First, we should go. Yeah, 
Yeah. I don't like that. That's gross. Yep. That's so weird. That sounds like... Uh, <gasps> Wigglytuff! Too. Wigglytuff needs Parasite's voice! That sounds like a verb. I don't like it. We should go to that place, Parasite's place, and sign up as a apprentice. We are not referring to Wigglytuff as... Well, you can refer to Wigglytuff as Parasite. But I ain't. It is. It genuinely is, but I got a, I got a game to love and have you ruin it for me. Alright. That's where we need to train to become a first rate exploration team. God, I'm making this all about me. I'm sure the training will be very tough, but I'm gonna make you go through Trust it anyway. me, this this starting scene being so much about the two characters, specifically the partner, is to, in my opinion, give the partner enough explanation to his backstory without intruding on the future story elements. Sure. You know, like, okay, think of it like this. You know how sometimes people start off a story with narration like, Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm 19, didn't learn how to read, but here I am anyway, back in school. Preschool, in fact. And that's why I'm living my life in a fucking sitcom. It's exact. It's like it's like that. That's how they introduce the character in this game, your partner, because he's the most integral piece. And if he were if he were too busy explaining his backstory during the most integral part of the game to develop you, it wouldn't be developing that character. It would just be developing you, and only you developing as alongside a stale, baseless thing. It's basically what fucking Fallout 4 does. It's boring and stiff and lame, and that's why this game is good at story compared to other games. And it doesn't matter if it's being voiced by a guy who literally can't even right now. It's still good, and it still makes me emotional. Yeah. Well, he starts off as, like, the sort of pushy guy. He's pushy. He's not an asshole. He's more of a Cameron than an asshole. That's my knuckles, by the way. Cracking. I'm cracking my knuckles. Oh, that's what people want to hear. But let's give it our best. I cracked my... <sighs> I cracked my... I cracked my neck um, during a Don't Starve video once, and it just... The, the audio picked it up, and it was like... <clears throat> and I was like, oh, yes, this is what people wanted to hear. So I put that in the video. I made the screen shake, and it was hilarious. And so... Oh, Stick and Creeper... Oh, God, I'm giving them Zubat's voice. Formed an exploration team. And this turned out to be... The very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. I'm pulling up the file save system just in case. I guess I'll save over which one do I not have? We're at the end credits. Yay, we did it. This is the start of the game. I'm saving over four. I guess we could call it an episode now. Um, yeah, we should call it an episode. Would I like to save my adventure? Right. Yes. Alright, we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, who knows. Stick's schedule is as flamboyant as his, uh, characters. Oh yeah, Stick is a very tired man. But I love him. No homo, but I do love him, he is a great guy. I'm putting his channel in the description. Yeah, just a, just a wee bit, just a little homo right there, right there. Uh, yeah. Stick is a good guy. I've been begging him to join me on this for weeks. So, if anybody is watching, nah, it's not your fault. Um, I should apologize to the server for not hosting Jackbox yesterday. Um, anyway, I will see you guys next time. This is Creeper8020 doing whatever the hell he does. And then glitching out.